Hey guys, this is Layla Alia, your lifestyle and wedding fitness coach, and today we're going to talk about taking breaks and how not taking breaks, what it, you, what you're, you're doing to yourself, and what you're sacrificing in your health. So some people think that by sacrificing breaks, they're able to gain more time, more ability to get accomplished more things because, you know, by not taking a break, I'm not talking about a 20 minute break. I'm talking about taking breaks such as like taking a day off. Some people don't want to do that. They can't do that mentally because they feel like if they did, they're behind schedule. This is very common in the work schedule, work uh, corporate America, government, hustle, hustle, hustle type workspace. And having someone like me who has worked at NASA, worked in, in, a, corp, in a Fortune 500 company, corporate America, I learned the biggest price that it did for me by that it sacrificed my health. It really caused a huge damage to me mentally, physically, but most importantly, mentally. And what it does to you is that you start building anxiety, you start things get harder to get accomplished. And as I say this to you, please relate this to yourselves and think about the time that you felt this and you didn't take a break and what what it did to you and what it did to your to the balloons around you. And just to share something personal, I uh, was recently experiencing panic attacks because I was not taking enough breaks. I thought if I took one day of the week and just crammed in all the me time, pampering time, girl time, talk time, everything in one day, I should be good to go for the, for the week. And it turned out that I needed more than that. And I now take two days of not working on work, but I work on other things like household stuff, food stuff, me time, and I noticed that it allowed me to get my work done faster. And it was scary at first, but it got to the point where I had a mental breakdown and I was forced to take the day off and to do nothing. And it was the hardest thing ever. And when I did it, I just felt so much better and I was like so much more productive at work. And I even got my work done a day early. So what I recommend is, is that if you wanna take breaks, allow it, don't be scared, test yourself. I dare you to take breaks. I dare you to take a day off of work or a day off of working on a weekend and do something with your loved ones and see what it does to you mentally. And it allows you to have a much more productive week throughout your time. This pertains to the brides that are planning their wedding. If you're too stressed out planning out the seating charts, planning out the dress, uh, the catering, everything, just put it aside for a day and go for a walk. Today's a gorgeous day, for example, and just kind of like let it just flow in your mind. Don't do anything and just don't think. Sometimes going out and having dinner with your fiance or your loved ones and or going to a movie where somebody's doing the thinking for you, it will allow you to reset and process better. See, some people are walking together as friends and they're taking a break. <laughs> and just, it's great. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think this is something that I had to learn on my own. And you watch so many podcasts and, and uh, personal development program to say hustle 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 work hard play later and I think you do need to play more as you're hustling and uh, it's okay to play and hustle at the same time it's the quality of the output is what matters not the amount of inputs work smarter not harder all right talk to you guys later uh, if this resonated with you and you want to talk more about how you can slim for the for the slim down for the gown so if you want to learn more on how you want to slim down for the gown or any gown just send me a message and we'll talk all right guys i'll talk to you guys later stay active and keep going and i'll see you guys later bye